Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your tarot reading. So I'm going to relay some messages for you that came out when I was shuffling and then we'll uh, get the spread laid out for you guys. So first of all, um, I feel like this month it's going to go one of two ways depending on how much work you have done um, to, you know, for yourself last month, okay? We had a full moon in your sign in Capricorn last month. And uh, I do feel that it brought a lot of emotional things to the surface. A lot of you have turned over a new leaf and a lot of you are finding yourself in situations where you're clearing up old karma, you're clearing up blockages, you're clearing up unhealthy ways that you've been behaving in the past and you're turning over a new leaf, <clears throat> so to speak. And then I feel like for others of you, you might be still deal dealing with some lingering issues as it relates to temptation, as it relates to your own sense of independence. Um, and especially for those in a partnership, like a committed partnership, like a marriage or a full blown relationship, I feel that you're still struggling with this dichotomy about uh, what does your independence mean and are you behaving in a rightful way in a relationship or are you taking that relationship for granted, okay? So <clears throat> I feel one of the major things that you are dealing with for this month here is um, with relationship partners. I feel that many of you will be put in a situation where the other person might be giving you an ultimatum. So they're going to say, I want this, A, B, C, D. If you can't give me all those things, we cannot be together. So I feel that a lot of the relationship partners are asking for exclusivity. They're asking for devotion. They're asking for um, honesty, faithfulness, and commitment from you. And I see a small mi minority of you are also doing this with your relationship partner where there might be lingering trust issues and uh, both parties might be evasive. One party might be evasive. And so you have never been able to clear up, you know, like, where do we stand with each other? Where are we headed? Where is our relationship, you know, going and what's going to happen to us? So I feel like a lot of security issues surrounding a major relationship is um, coming through and forcing you to re-examine um, for this month. What I'm also feeling as well for married people, um, well, single or married, um, what I feel is like the month has been greatly about independence. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you have taken trips, a lot of you have gone out somewhere to really clear your head, clear your energy, clear your vibration, traveling, seeing old friends, seeing family members again. So I do feel that this sense of like, you know, yes, family is really important to me. I want to them to be available in my life. But also this sense of where has family really infringed upon, you know, like family customs, um, family values, even family expectations. Where have they really um, infringed upon your independence? I, I feel like those elements are coming through as well. And, you know, I feel like as a sign that really cares overall about other people and that really cares overall about um, their other people's well-being. I do sense that you're turning over a new leaf and you're placing a lot more emphasis and importance on the people and the relationships that really matter to you and nurturing and fostering those relationships, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well, I feel like you're in the work environment, things have been a little bit topsy-turvy and, and some of you might have needed to clear your head. Like there has been a lot of reshuffling, a lot of um, from, you know, from the top down, like restructuring, reshuffling, personnel changes, priority changes, um, shifting, you know, like um, shifting clients, shifting in accounts. There's a lot of accounts, um, renegotiations and just, you know, a lot of red tape that has really been barring your path on the work front. And as a result of that, many of you have just, you know, wanted to take a break, wanted to take that vacation to just clear the air, clear the energy and come back with a, uh, come back to ready to tackle the, the, the situations that come through. And uh, if you have left a work environment and you're coming back, it's sort of like hitting the ground running, hitting the ground running so that 
you still have to face these problems. So I'm, I'm not saying that you're running away from these problems. And you are in no way a sign that runs away from conflict. But I feel like you just need a breather. You just need like a, a, um, a hiatus. And now you're coming back to readdress those same issues, which is really interesting because, you know, we have a Mercury retrograde um, that's happening for this month and it is happening on the 12th. So August 12th and running all the way to September 5th. OK, and the energy can be felt two weeks before and two weeks after this time frame. And Mercury retrograde requires us to revisit, redo re-examine and re rework something that has not been working so i feel like you you took your visit at a you know you, you took your hiatus at a very opportune moment and now you're coming back with the support of mercury retrograde to be able to sort things out and get things moving in the right direction again um the last message i have here is i feel like some of you are dealing with um somebody in your work environment that is um they're a little bit cutthroat and I'm also feeling like um, they have all these plans they're an ideas person and you're kind of like the practical you know voice in the situation you look at their plans you poke holes in their plans and you can tell them like right off the bat oh this is not gonna work or this is gonna work and I feel like you're that kind of like um, that quality control type of person and if this is like a business partner, it's great. It's a great partnership. The other person has plans, you ground them. And if this is not a partnership, and if it's just a work environment, you're gonna be in a position where you do some type of quality control for a firm. You do some type of quality control to just to, you know, make sure, like, like you're, you're doing something to mitigate the impact of things going awry. And as a result of it, I feel that you're gonna be in very high demand and I feel like a lot of revisiting situations, accounts, ledger, um, dealing with clients um, and, and fixing situations that have gone awry. OK, so this is a big month hitting the ground running type of a month. And I also feel that it's um, not only in your work life, it's also in your personal life, figuring out, you know, how to juggle things, how to adjust, make adjustments how to make things work to your benefit, okay? So let's go into your reading. And um, I'm going to do your love reading in a little bit, but I feel that the energy is very heavily focused on love and relationships, okay? So I apologize for the glare. So first of all, I'm feeling that a lot of you have a new bundle of joy in your housing environment, in your family. So this is usually the birth of a baby an addition to the family sometimes too it can indicate taking over like a, a parent coming into the household to help with child rearing issues if you've been very busy and you have like a newborn uh, parents coming in people offering a helping hand with a new bundle of joy so congratulations for those of you who are expecting or who are bringing forth a child into the world okay I feel like because this is coming out here as the Ace of Cups, it's already in the picture and there's some type of family, you know, restructuring that's happening here, you know, such as uh, painting a nursery, people coming in offering their inputs, here's how you raise a child, here's what religion you should raise the child, here's where to enroll the child, you know, things like that. Like logistical things concerning children coming into the picture and everybody is like, everyone in your family is there out of love, but they're offering their opinions, they're offering their inputs that might not be appropriate, okay? So I do feel that while there is an outpouring of love when it comes to family, family get together, family meetings, and family just offering their two cents it can feel a little bit overwhelming and it can also feel a little bit like they're infringing upon your space and they're infringing upon you know your independence as to what you want your household to look like but this element is coming through um pregnancy is highly indicated for those who are not expecting so just be careful about that okay um, I do feel there is going to be, you know, movement within your household environment. So fam, like or elder members of the family might be moving in. You're redecorating, you're reshuffling your 
uh, items, furniture, furnishings, changing house and things like that. That's happening in your housing environment and also possibly remodeling, expanding, making a space a little bit bigger, okay? If you have a new child in the environment, I do feel that there is lack of sleep. Make sure you take care of yourself. I do feel this card overall is, um, you know, this, this indicates to me some type of inflammation as it relates to health. And um, the throat, the head, sinus congestion, throat pains, as well as, um, you know, like the, the oxidation overall when it comes to joints, that is coming into the picture. So make sure you don't wear yourself out, get proper sleep, get proper uh, water intake. It's going to be very crucial for you. And I do feel as well, you might be at a risk for inflammation. So be inflammation of the joints, inflammation of the head. I do see a lot of head flus. I do see a lot of throat issues as well, okay? If you are surrounded by a lot of family, you don't want to, you know, push anybody's buttons and you don't want to step on their toes. Um, I feel like you have a lot of things that you're holding back in. So your throat chakra might be a little bit on the weak end, mainly because you're not saying things that needs to be said because you want to maintain the peace or you don't want to overstep your boundaries or you don't want to step on their toes. So I feel that that element is going to be coming through through the family end and it's going to feel a little bit aggravating. OK, what we also have as well here is the Ace of Pentacles. This is indicative of a new job. It came out very early. It's the first card in the spread. So it indicates to me some type of a job, new position that you have already taken on, okay? And um, it has a lot of promise. It has a lot of potential, but it needs to be fostered and it needs to be nurtured. So basically, it's um, it's this is a job where I feel like it has the potential to grow. You can grow with the company. You can grow with the organization. It's going to allow you a lot of freedom of movement, freedom to, you know, rise laterally in your work environment. So that means um, gaining promotions, gaining like um, increased pay, um, rising laterally. So, you know, jumping into a different position, a higher paying position. It has a lot of potential. And I do sense that some of you, you need to be a lot more proactive when it comes to nurturing this job because the way that you come out in the spread, this is a very powerful figure with the um, magician in the reverse. But the energy is a little bit subdued because it shows up in the reverse. So it, it might be like, yes, on the one hand, you do appreciate all that it offers. But on the other hand, you know, because you are very structural, um, and you're a very procedural type of a sign, you might not, you know, think outside the box, you might not feel like there's room for growth, and you might not like put 100% to developing the job to make you grow in like to, to make the job work for you rather than just um, growing into the job. Okay. So it has a lot of potential. And it's basically telling you, use your charisma, use your creativity to make the job work for you and to shape it into something that is going to be perfect for you rather than just going with the flow and growing into the job. OK, so we want to turn both of these in the upright position so that you work to the best of your capabilities and that you, you know, embody not only the, the title, but make sure that the projects that you create, the networks that you create, the systems that are in place that you create can allow the job to grow, can allow the job to be a lot, lot more sustainable and can allow other people, once they think of the job title, they're like, oh, it's that Capricorn. They're able to do really good work. Does that make sense? So rather than just conforming, I think it's a real, really important to kind of break outside of your roles, do a little bit more to ease and facilitate the job, do a little bit more to kind of like make it your own, okay? So that means thinking outside the box, that means thinking very creatively, and that also means, you know, owning up to it and making sure that it works for you, okay? So I feel like a lot of you are in a new job positions or especially there's gonna be some changes within the work environment. So you might be changing roles, you might be, um, given additional responsibilities, you might not feel like you have all the skills to tackle the new position or the new responsibilities, but they can't, they're assuring you that, you know, step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Don't doubt yourself and whatever is given to you, it's given to you for an opportunity and for a chance for you to prove yourself so that you can, you know, 
make it the best that it can be and you can make it work for you okay so i do feel salary negotiations as well as shifting in job titles just shifting in job positions that's coming into the picture for you it feels as if for some of you there is um there's some type of like top down issues when it comes to your work either there's a lot of uncertainty like they have positions that they can't really fill that can free you up for a higher paying position so in the meantime you're kind of stuck there until they can fill that position so that means i feel like this job situation is going to change around for the better and i feel like the time of scorpio so like um the next water sign especially is when things are going to start moving for you so i do feel uh late october moving into um november i feel like that's when you know if you're waiting for that if you're waiting to shift into a new role and your role needs to be filled first or you know there's something office politics going on and that position is kind of tied up i feel like it's going to be freed in the late october time frame on the other hand if a lot of you are feeling as if you're not getting paid adequately and i've been feeling this for the past six months and you feel like you're no longer growing with your job or you sense that you're not getting you know promotions mainly because you don't have the credential you don't have the you know the the certificate you don't have like the education required in order to advance ahead and to get that you know additional salary increase i do feel this situation is going to change for you and it basically requires you going back to school learning a new craft so that you can prove to them that you have the credentials and the credibility to back up your edu with your education and also with you know the skills that you bring to the table okay so some long-term planning i feel is really crucial for this month and for those of you thinking about going back to school and especially if you are in a partnership you're going to get an outpouring of love and support from your partner so i'm sensing some people might go back to school reduce work um, part-time and your partner is going to step up to take care of you financially okay so there's going to be some type of consensus that needs to be reached but i feel like your partner is not really the problem i feel that some of you needs to just make a decision about what you need to do and get um get very you know like active to get yourself to that point okay so moving forward i do feel the later part of this year especially there's going to be a lot of travel that's happening for you um, they're saying getting all the travel done for this year. Um, there's going to be, they're, they're saying here with this card, there's going to be a lot of traveling that needs to, you need to get out of your system. So if you're doing that, great. And if you're planning for that this year, I do feel that it's going to be really good for you because you're not going to be able to do it, you know, next year. Okay. This is overall about longing for adventure, longing for um, some type of like reprieve from the minutia of, you know, the work environment. OK, thinking about the grass being greener on the other end, I do feel that they're telling you, you know, next year is going to be pretty much the turn of the, um, the year going into the new year. It's going to be pretty much about, you know, hitting the, the like nose, the grindstone, hitting the ground running. And uh, we also have as well Saturn heading into Capricorn, which is going to bring additional responsibilities. OK, so I do feel that going back to school, it counts as additional responsibilities, family planning, new children being introduced into the picture that counts as additional responsibility. So if you need to travel, get it out of your system for this year, because I feel like moving forward from that October time frame, it's going to be I'm sorry, December time frame. Um, moving into the new year 2018 you're gonna be inundated with a lot of little things here and there that you need to take uh, take care of and you're gonna be inundated with a lot of career changes and also responsibilities in the career front okay and I know that's usually um, longer of a prediction time frame but I do feel that coming heavily in for this year um, if you are thinking about going back to school, don't procrastinate on that, okay? Just get going with it because I feel like it's really going to greatly boost your income 
and it's going to make you feel really good about yourself. It's going to make you feel confident when you go into that boardroom, demand a salary increase. It's going to make you feel a lot more confident when you are looking for work and when you are taking on additional projects and you have the, you know, the credibility behind you. I feel like that's going to do wonders for your personal image and your professional life overall. Okay. Um, I'm seeing here some of you are dealing with a relationship partner. And what we have here is the Six of Cups. And we have as well the King of Cups. So let me talk about this energy. This is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. The cards are not gender specific, okay? At its best, this person is very loving, very committed, and very, very, very uh, in tune with you. And I feel like when it shows up in the reverse position, this person might be operating a little bit more on the negative manifestation of this King of Cups, where they can be a little bit controlling, a little bit manipulative, and also a little bit demanding of your, your time. They might not feel, they, they might feel a little bit neglected. They might feel that you are devoting your energy to friends, family as well. And um, you're not able to give them, you know, the, the commitment that they're looking for. So for some of you, I feel like this might be the person that is wanting to give you that ultimatum. You know, when are we getting married? Are we in an exclusive relationship? Are you and I committed to each other? Are you seeing me exclusively? And I do feel there is a lot of jealousy coming through based on this spread. They feel almost as if you're working a lot and you're not spending enough time with them. They might have suspicions that you are in another relationship where the other person is kind of a, at a distance and they're coming into your life like on and off. And they might feel very unstable and very un insecure in the relationship. And they're demanding more of a commitment from you. I feel like a lot of you have a lot of love and appreciation for this person. There's an element here where I'm not seeing so much of a soulmate connection, but I'm feeling like you care about the other person and you have trouble letting them go because um, it seems to me this is a card about childhood innocence, right? So the other person might be physically younger than you. So if you're dealing with this water sign, they might be physically younger than you. You might feel like, oh, they're a little bit on the naive side. I don't want to break up with them because they're going to get involved with other bad people who will really break their heart. So I just want to be with them and take care of them, even though you might or might not love them. So I feel like you're staying with them because you're fearful about letting them venturing out on, on their own. And you're fearful about, you know, like who they might encounter in the in the dating world and you're trying to control the situation, okay? And then for others, I feel like this might be somebody that is a little bit more on the manipulative end that you might have been married to or you might have children with. And there's talks about reconciliation and I feel like family members are kind of pushing you to do some type of a reconciliation with this person or they might prefer this person over the one that you're dating right now. And you're trying to keep, you know, their opinion separate. You're trying to keep your love life separate. So there's an element here about needing to clear out clutter in your love life so that you and your partner can move ahead and can have, you know, some type of stability um, re-injected back into your relationship. Okay. So love relationships, I feel like it is a very um, serious matter that is being talked about for this month. You and your partner are going to need to have a serious discussion. Where are we headed? Um, are we exclusive? Are we getting married? Are we, you know, introducing ourselves to each other's families? And are we going to get married and have children? So some major, major discussion is coming into the works where we are living as well. So that's coming out in your relationship sector, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that and I'm going to move into your love relationship reading for this month. I hope the reading so far has been helpful for you. You've got some big things coming in store for you. Capricorn. So let me see what's going on for you guys for the month of August. Love, romance, and relationship. Capricorns. Forgive my hand, I have remnants of leftover henna that I was doing last week. So 
I apologize if it looks messy or if it looks a little bit sloppy, okay? So Capricorns. You've got a lover that is very, very idealistic, and um, they, they, they really love you. They really, really love you. Um, I, I want to say like a little bit on the naive side, possibly a little bit younger or a lot younger, uh, very idealistic, and they, they're kind of like pegging their dreams onto you, and um, I feel like it's going to be a problem if you don't take care of it, okay? So if you find somebody kind of like, you know, uh, riding your coattails or if you just started dating and they're already planning the life together or the future together that's a little bit problematic and you know be careful not to enable that behavior it's really cute and romantic but it's not practical you might be flattered by the attention that you're getting but I just feel like the other person their head is not on right and they're they're just I feel like just a little bit on the naive and rushing things or, you know, thinking you're, you're still, it's like you're still testing out the water, you're still testing out the relationship and they're already projecting marriage, uh, family, children, you know, the whole nine yards. So you want to be a little bit careful, especially if you just started dating them. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Let me talk about the um, foundation. We have here the Nine of Swords and we have here the Page of Swords. So I'm not reading the Page of Swords as a person because I feel like this is an energy. The Nine of Swords basically indicates a situation where there is a lot of worries, a lot of back and forth, a lot of infighting between you and another person. And I feel like, especially for those of you who have children, from you with your current partner or even from a previous type of an engagement like a previous relationship you have like um, a, a child that you share with with a spouse or you know a child that's uh, where the spouse is no longer in the picture so like from an ex um, I do feel there's gonna be a lot of bickering back and forth a lot of like um, I need this type of money to enroll the children here and there's they're they're gonna be very relentless about doing things the way that they want for the for for whatever reason you know for whatever they think is best for the child while you have your own ideas about what you want to do that's best for the child for some of you i feel like the other person might want to relocate closer to you and you might feel like it's going to interfere with your current relationship and then for others the 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 um person might be moving away from you so you might feel that it's going to interfere with the custody, you know, the visitation, uh, the alimony, or even the child support that's coming through as well. So there's some bickering back and forth. With the Nine of Swords, this is worries, anxieties, and a lot of harsh words being exchanged between people. Restless sleep, a lot of worries, okay? The Page of Swords, this is basically some type of a combative inflammatory types of news between two people and it's in the both in the sword um, position so you might be dealing here with a um, an air sign so an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra that's really keeping you up at night that's kind of like sh um, sending you messages or calling you at very inopportune times um, I'm also sensing honestly that some of you might have a younger lover and this might be it where they're texting you really late at night and you might or might not be in another relationship and it's it's creating a lot of strife in your life okay if this is the case ignore it block the person because i feel like it's uh some things are being unraveled 
some things are being unraveled so it's not going to be good for you in the long run okay so if you are in another relationship and you're involved with this person this is a very relentless type of person they're not going to leave things alone so you are going to need to be the one to cut ties and to kind of like step up own up to it and cut ties with this person because they're very relentless and this is not a good state for you to be in as it pertains to your relationship okay I'm also feeling some of you are dealing with this person and they 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 have some mental issues I'm not saying they're crazy or anything like that but it feels to me like they just won't let up they won't leave you alone and for some of you this might be an ex for others they're just they just won't leave you alone like they they really like you and they have this you know puppy love infatuation type of energy where they they feel like if it feels to me like they think you're their loved ones, their soulmate, and they just have trouble letting go of the relationship, okay? In the past position, we have here the death card, which is turning over a new leaf. And we have here the eight of coins, which is you working very hard at your relationship. And I do feel some of you are in a relationship right now where you're trying to do things differently. You're trying to uh, um, approach relationships with a little bit more of a temper like an even keel you want your partner to be on board with you and you especially are looking for here are the four of wands which is marriage stability a lot more um i want to say like practicality in your relationship so you want a person that is committed you want a person that is like on an even keel somebody who might not have you know these emotional issues here and you do want somebody who is like a lot more balanced okay with this temperance card and so moving into this month, if you are single, for example, what we have here is the Seven of Cups. And this is usually internet-based type of dating, online dating, talking to a lot of people, meeting people at, an, at a distance, texting, communication, or something like that via a virtual type of a way. And we have here the Two of Coins, which is some of you from among these options that you've been kind of like eyeing, the Seven of Cups. We have the two of pentacles you're narrowing down your options and you're potentially um dating two people or trying to gauge the the possibility of who is the best person for me who should i date and who should i be with okay and then i also feel some of you are juggling two people like a solid relationship partner especially a marriage partner and you're also juggling another option on the table. I feel like for some of you, there is an earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you're already involved with. And then an air sign that is bringing you some grief, bringing you a little bit of strife. It's exciting, but it's going to be... Um, it's going to be problematic if you don't tackle this issue, okay? So singles, seeing new people, dating new people, and then people who are in relationships, possibly having like an ongoing affair with a younger person. Be very careful, Capricorn. Be really, really careful, okay? Saturn is going to hit your sign in December. And Saturn is a karmic, very, very karmic um, teacher. And so you want to take care of all of this right now before the December time frame, okay? Just a word of advice. And what we have coming through in the future position, we have here the Page of Wands, which is also news messages um this is kind of like an outpouring of passion outpouring of love and it's going to create a little bit of temptation for you here with the devil card okay the devil is a situation that we can't really extract ourselves from it can be very exciting it can be very addictive it can be very very codependent as well and so I see many of you, there's a tendency to fall back into old habits, which is dating people who might not be, you know, entirely emotionally stable. While in the meantime, what you're looking at is you want stability. You want that, you know, um, you want that consistency with you and your relationship partner. You also want that safety and the trust in a stable relationship. And you might feel a little bit claustrophobic if you already have that you might want a little bit more excitement hence you know flirting around but i do sense innately that this is what you're looking for 
and you're kind of like working against your intuition when it comes overall to the types of people that you should date and the types of people that you should bring into the picture okay so singles dating I do feel that on the one hand you want all of these things the stability in the marriage but on the other hand I do feel that uh, you might be looking for passion and excitement and you're headed in the wrong direction okay so for single people I feel like there might be a fire sign coming into the picture. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo, sun, moon or rising. And this is somebody that they, they, I feel like they might be a little bit more on the talking end and they're not really following through. And then I also feel that this is a, a relationship that you can't really shake. So you want to be careful about how you approach things right now, okay? So Capricorns, I'm going to be back for the mid-month reading. Hopefully this energy will clear up for you. I do feel there's a lot of recalibration that you guys need to do in your relationship sector. And I feel that some relationship partners are going to be making more demands on you uh, wanting you to commit, wanting, you know, ultimatums, wanting some type of a truce with you, all right? Don't put yourself in situations where you feel like you're being blackmailed by other people. Don't put yourself in situations where things come to light, information and things like that come to light that you don't want other people to know. Do some damage control right now. I'm publishing this um, reading early. Hopefully that you can, you know, get ahead and stay ahead of the energy and clear out the clutter from your relationship sector. All right. Take care of the people that mean a lot to you. Take care of your loved ones. Okay. So Capricorns, I'm going to leave you with that. It's not the, you know, brightest type of a reading, but I hope it's helpful for those who are dealing with this. Okay. I will be back for the mid-month reading. Take care of yourself and uh, take it easy for this month. Okay. Bye-bye.